Guys, this is my set of torches here. I got a the larger bottle is a bottle of oxygen and the smaller is acetylene. And this was a, a regular 2L dolly. Uh, I modified it to hold the tanks and they're chained in and stuff. And I always keep the caps on my tanks when I'm not using them. And it's actually the law if, if you're hauling these, uh, they have to be capped. Uh, if it were to fall over and bust the valve off, you got a 100 pound missile. And also, it's extremely flammable gas, so I always make sure the valves are off really tight and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, how I dial them in to be the most efficient um, this gas is uh, extremely expensive and uh, if you don't have them dialed in uh, you're just wasting gas and money so uh, I'll start uh, hooking these up and show you uh, how I set the flame uh, well guys I got my two gauges here uh, one of them is green one of them is red and uh, the green is oxygen and the red is the acetylene and you can't get them wrong anyway because uh, this one is a female thread and the acetylene is a male thread and it's a left-handed thread uh, you turn it left to tighten it so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get these gauges tightened on All right, now, uh, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, make sure my torch head is uh, nice and cleaned out. You see those little holes there? Um, this is a tip cleaner. Uh, this is really cheap, but it's important to uh, keep those cleaned out. See there's different size files here that'll uh, get those holes cleaned out. Um, I just cleaned this one, it's good to go. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to make sure these adjustments are loose and I'm going to go ahead and turn both bottles on, make sure I have um, fuel in them. Alright, I got a lot of fuel in both tanks. So um, These are opposite of what you might think when you, when you tighten the uh, adjustment in, it actually turns the PSI up. So, loose like this. Um, has no gas going through it. Well guys, I'm gonna get the pressure set on these tanks. I'm gonna turn my lower oxygen on. And uh, I'm gonna turn this in. I'm gonna set it at about uh, 30 on the oxygen. And then I'm gonna turn the acetylene on a little bit here. I'm gonna set the acetylene on about six. There we go. I got those dialed in on a uh, 30 to 6 ratio. And that's what I'm going to use to uh, cut this quarter inch steel. Alright guys, when I um, go to light these torches up, um, I'm going to need a pair of uh, dark shades on hand and a striker. Um, I like this. I like this striker right here. Check this out. That's kind of a neat one, right? But With the oxygen all the way on, first thing I'm going to do I'm going to turn the acetylene on just a little bit, light it, now can you see all the black smoke coming off of that? I'm going to turn the acetylene until the black smoke disappears, right there. Now I need to adjust the oxygen, I'm going to turn it until there's five individual flames. When I hit the when I hit the trigger, it should not change the flame size. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get it red hot before I start cutting. Now that it's glowing red, I'm gonna hit the trigger. There we go. Now what I'm going to show you is uh, how to bend steel and not cut it. Same adjustments, you just don't hit the trigger. 
That flame will get it red hot. This is how you heat up steel without cutting it. You just don't hit the trigger. Same adjustments on the heat settings. guys well here you go guys here's a, a cut and a bend and I use the exact same settings I just uh, difference is I you don't hit the trigger if you want to heat something up to bend it I hope I help someone out um, like I say it's real important that uh, that you get these dialed in to where it's efficient and you're not wasting fuel and uh, if you're into metal work, this is a great investment, guys. It, uh, it really does make life easier sometimes. Be real careful with these. Don't burn yourself. And Now that I'm done with the demonstration here, I'm going to uh, take my rig back down and get the valves off really tightly and uh, get the caps back on. Uh, thanks for watching.